Okay, we are back. It's currently March 4 of the year 1. So less than two in-game months before the end of this playthrough. And basically what I'm doing is just building stone paths to the words the traders at this point in time. And also getting steel tools. So I fell behind on that because of the whole resonance archive thing. So here's the pulverizer continuing to pulverize and it's going fast now. Great. Let's just take this out and that'll continue working for the time being. Now, what I want to do is start making the refractory bricks. Don't have that much fire clay, but should be enough to at least make some refractory bricks and start that uh, going. Now, I have the ingredients for tier twos. Thanks to my olivine. And I guess it doesn't matter where I put him in this grid. Yeah, really doesn't matter. So I can make two stacks of this. And I'm not actually sure if this is even enough. But I guess I'll go ahead and I need some grass. I'll just go ahead and start firing this stuff up. And we're going to need some... Oh, I'll just go get some peat. I don't want to burn the coal on that stuff. I do need sticks, however. Like, I want to at least get the steel making process going before the end of this play session. And as well, I'm going to start working on the path going eastward over to the luxuries trader. And I did mention I'm going to be building a tunnel through that hill over there, so I'm excited for that. Kinda. Maybe exciting is the wrong word. I'm looking forward to it, I should say. Now, each of these can only support 12 bricks. Uh, let's do it like this. I'm pretty much using the same pit kiln that I've been using for a while now. I'll just put the raw stuff right over here. I'll get to that later. In the meantime... See, this is why I wanted to harvest a lot of grass earlier on before winter sets in. Because it's hard to harvest the grass when there's snow on the ground. That's all the grass I brought with me? Oh, jeez. And you're about to find out why it's so hard. Yeah, I didn't bring as much grass. Oh, I can still harvest it like this. You know what? I should probably test out the scythe if I still have one. Because I could have sworn it's hard to harvest the grass here. Yeah, there's a snow layer here. Or is the snow shallow enough that this actually works? Because if there is only a little bit of snow on the ground, then yeah, you can't harvest it. But if it's shallow like this, then you can probably get away with harvesting it. I gotta test this out now. Because the snow probably melted enough that I can do this. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. But we'll do that later. In the meantime, sticks in here. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, it only takes one stack. All right. And now I forgot to get the peat. I also need to make some more metal tools. Like I still have... I still only have a little bit on the iron pickaxe. So I'm thinking two shovels and two pickaxes. Where's the peat deposit? Right over here. Like building these paths is actually really expensive. 
Like, that's why earlier on in this playthrough, I was saving as many stones as I could. If I ran out of room, I would just convert them into stone paths, but I never really put down paths until, like, recently. So keep that in mind. If you want to build stone paths to towards something meaningful, you're going to be building a lot of it. And you're also going to be shaping the land. Of course, it's much faster if you use something like coal instead of peat or firewood, but... I'm just going to be busy doing something else and I'll probably forget about this. So I'll just let it burn. Oh, I heard that drifter. Get away from me. Uh, just smack you. And you give me nothing. All right. Fine. Yeah, it does look like the snow is melting. Yeah, it's zero degrees. So if I have a scythe available, I'm just gonna like test this out because I do need more grass. Unless I only took like one or two stacks. Like, I don't even remember how much grass I took. Oh, that was all of it. Okay, great. Uh, I guess we'll put this back in here. And then we'll deposit the peat over here. Oh yeah, I do need to refill... Like, uh... On the outside, I still need to refill that fire pit over there. Because I use that for when I have temporal storms and I need to keep warm. So let's just put like half of it here right now and then the other half the pile here. So it's ready to go for the next temporal storm. Now, the thing is, I only have three iron ingots, and I have a pulverizer here in place of my helve hammer. Uh, so, I think what I'm going to have to do is basically do this manually. So let's just fire these up right now. And then while I'm waiting, so I'm gonna put the path like right here off into the distance, which I can't see because there's it's too dark. But it should run into, like... Oh, there's... There's a pond here. So we're paving over the pond, which is good. And then, I guess I'm cutting through here. And then, ultimately, cutting through there. Oh, that'll be fun. It's gonna take a lot of digging. Which will give me a lot of stones that I need for more stone paths. So, it's all good. Uh, maybe I need to fill in a little bit more dirt up there because otherwise I'm going through water. Let's get some more food. Okay, I'm low on fruit nutrition, so let's go get some fruit. Uh, 
I probably should start eating cheese soon. But I don't really need it. Like, I don't really need the HP. And I still have the bread. Let's put it here. Okay, so before I forget... These tongs, here's the hammer. Okay, let's do this one first. Unfortunately, I can take out a 3x3 three three square of these black voxels and then work the rest. So we're going to have two shovels and two pickaxes because I'm going to be doing a lot of pickaxing and shoveling. And then let's just, uh, where's the pickaxe? Like, I gotta uh, put the unprocessed chunks back into the, the input storage there. Oh, this is almost done. Yeah, like these things. I don't know why this happens. But I gotta keep this going. In fact, there's still, like... Oh, never mind. Everything's all processed, so... Uh... I could probably put the health hammer back once this is all done. Uh, what was I doing? Second pickaxe. Now, I'm almost done the path to the agricultural trader, but I'm going to hold off on that for now because I don't really have a source of stones. That's actually why I want to start uh, doing the path going east because I get to do some tunneling. And this one. Okay, two pickaxes. And two shovels. Now, I do have access to a meteoric iron uh, deposit. I can actually go to get some meteoric iron. The problem is, uh, it's really far away. It's like close to the luxuries trader where I first began this playthrough. So, it would require me to go all the way over there to get it. And on top of that, it's just one deposit. So, not sure if it would even be worth it. Like, the tools... Uh, it only increases the mining speed by 0.5% and the durability is like just a little bit more. So that's why I'm pretty much holding off on getting it. Like in previous playthroughs, it was like I would find four or five deposits of it or something insane like that. And in near proximity to each other, but this time I only found one, so... Maybe I'm just unlucky, or maybe the spawns were toned down. Anyway... Let's just, uh... Let's do this. Okay, two shovels, two pickaxes, and then we'll go with what we got. Alright, so let's put this away. This hammer is almost done, but I do have a spare ready to go. I had sticks right here. Hmm. 
Alright. So, gold lantern goes here. Uh, wooden tongs. Yeah, it goes here. We have our paths. Do we have any other paths ready to go? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. So... Okay, this is all done. So I'm thinking... Yeah, it's gonna be three wide for the time being. Oh. That's the beginning of the pond. And then after this it'll go to... Right, I should probably clear that. I should also clear this. Because we don't need this anymore. Let's get on top of there and just dig down. Get back this packed dirt. And also this chest. I guess we'll put the halite somewhere. Or wait, I do need the full blocks, except I don't have full blocks. You know, I just have, like, loose stones lying all around. Maybe I should start picking those up. Yeah, three will be good enough unless I can do this. No? I don't really want to use the slate stone just in case. So, I guess we're going with three for the time being. And then it'll be two, like right here, this part. And then to save on those resources, we'll do one. I guess I'll fill this in right now. Guess we'll start shoveling this. You might as well shovel this as well. Like when you're making these stone paths, you're also like terraforming the surrounding area so that you can have a nice smooth movement, I guess. Might as well clean this up. I haven't actually really been doing this. Like when I was making the path in the previous play session. So I might as well start doing it. Because every little bit does help. Even though it's like small quantities of it. And you want to... Yeah, let's just... Dig through here. Ow. You know what? I'm just gonna dig through you. Uh, yeah. Dig through here.
And since I'm so close to my house, I'll just bring it back there. Since my inventory's full. There's no point in putting a chest, like... Just here. Maybe I'll put a chest, like, after I get... Or before the tunnel entrance. Yeah, I'll put the chest there. Yeah, we're putting the stone paths over here. And four rows. Oh, yeah, I was about to say I should do this first just so it doesn't collapse. And my inventory is full, so let's start dumping this stuff. Uh, oh, I guess I can stack th this. Oh, come on. Wait, you're not spawning on the surface. You're like inside where you can spawn. And then I'm gonna put stone paths here. So that if it falls onto the stone path, like it just... It doesn't turn back into blocks. Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, wait. So, that doesn't work anymore. Like, in previous versions, if it fell onto these stone paths, it would just... Like, not turn into... Back into blocks. Turns into the items you can pick up. But that's not working anymore, so... I'm gonna have to do it this way. Come here, you. Like the tunnel is gonna have to be at least three high so that when I put the stone paths, it'll be 2.5 high and it goes into the cave. All right, let's do that. Or let's put them on the stone paths first. Or at least try to. Right now, collapse this. And then shovel this. All right, it goes into this cave, which is pretty much partially collapsed. Now, I do need to get rid of these flowers for my inventory. Refractory bricks are still going. Just put you here. And I need to put this halite somewhere. Oh, I have an idea. Yeet! Yeet! Problem solved! I'm just gonna put this down here. You know what? I'm gonna take a trunk. Put this here. And I'll keep this wooden trunk with me. Oh. We have pine wood. I don't know why we have that. So, that should be good now. Lobbered stone. And then I'll also put the excess dirt here. And more stone paths. 
There we go. Or I guess we'll keep that with me. And I have full stack right here. There we go. So I have a full stack of packed dirt as well. Just in case. Now I'm just going to leave the pulverizer there until I can get my first set of steel going. Even though it's not really doing anything. Wait a minute, can this be turned into the coffin? Or is this too... Uh, I guess not. Conglomerate's too soft. There's only like four or five different types of rock that can be used for the stone coffin for the steel making process. I'm just gonna dig you out too. Like, I'm not interested in the conglomerate rock, so I'm just gonna dig this out. Ow. Stop it. Stop! I probably should check this cave. Doesn't really go anywhere. Did I check this cave already? Yes, I did. Like, I don't remember anything in there, so I'm assuming there's nothing down there. Because if there was, I would have remembered it. Anyway. Uh... Just gonna put... Stone paths right over here. I just can't keep going straight. And you know what? Maybe I should fill this in with our dirt here. Go back up here and fill this in. All right, let's keep this going. Oh, come on. And I just realized I could have probably just collapsed this area and it would have just filled it in instead of putting down my collected dirt. Oh well. Oh yeah, I'm freezing now. this out. There we go. 